Gage must have pulled a few strings if someone like you is in charge hey, now. Hey, little announcement for you idiots out there. I know you think you're really tough and that nothing scares you, but do yourself a favor. Sure, we carry guns, to but none of us are where it's at. You it's go to any other parks, and I heard are, you put a pretty good beat down on back. Val. Don't say I didn't what happened? You. I was out of smoke since she didn't want to hook Here's me up. Here's a little yeah, something which I know you've it. all heard we pieces of cigarette. before. <laughs> Only this time, <laughs> you've got Red Eye, the master of storytelling, to lay it Things on Things are you. boring as hell since Nisha made us team up. I ain't no fan of playing nice with others. Pack and disciples. Bunch of amateurs playing dress up. We'd all considered putting a bullet in Coulter's back at some point. Suppose you just beat us to it. They're gonna head on in over, boss. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that she's got that pit boy on her arm. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Understanding the operators ain't hard. We know how to live. The other gangs. Dying is more their strong suit. Nice.
That's it. Hmm. Our new boss. You're going to want to talk to Hey Rags. there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that, it's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. You're all a bunch of psychopaths, and I love you for it. This is Raider Radio, and it's for you. I have a note here from Mags to Mason. Flaming bags of shit. Is that the best you can do? Okay, I'm sorry, but that's funny. Stupid as hell, but funny. Mags and William normally have me frisk visitors, but you get special treatment. This here is a song I wrote totally by myself, without any help at all. A uh, red-eye original, you could say. You're the new overboss, right? You sure made an example out of Coulter. Yeah, who knew? Water and electricity wouldn't mix. Well, judging from the thirst sapper you picked up, apparently you're not the only one. Gage was the one that clued you in. Yeah, I know all about it. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. I think Coulter got exactly what he deserved. I'm getting the impression that nobody liked that guy. <laughs> That's like calling a death claw a pussycat. With Coulter running the show, business was starting to dry up. Now that you're here, 
I'm betting everyone stands to make a lot more money. Speaking of which, I'm hoping you're here to spend a little bit of your own at the Nuka Cave. I'm amazed that all this junk actually works. Thanks. It's taken me almost a year to get it this far. Yeah, all of the amusements and games around you are working thanks to yours truly. I'm the only one that can take them apart and put them back together again. If I go, then it's only a matter of time before they fall apart. And all the cute little prizes you can win? Yeah, you can thank me for those too. Prizes? I like the sound of that. Well then, step right up and I'll explain how you can win some. Every game in the Nuka Kate still takes the original pre-war tokens. Just slot one into the machine and you're off. If your score is high enough, the machine will kick out a bunch of tickets which you can redeem at a prize terminal for all sorts of goodies. How do I get tokens? Well, I usually just tell my customers that I sell them. But seeing as you're the new overboss, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you a few other ways of getting them. You can also get tokens from the pre-war token machines in the Nuka Cave. But they only take pre-war money. And if you look around the parks hard enough, I'm betting you'll find a few here and there. I'll tell you what, just to officially welcome you to Nuka World, here's a token to get you started. How about three? As a gift to welcome the new overboss? Sure, why not? May as well start off with you on the right foot. Well, I guess that's it. If you need anything, you just let me know. Oh, don't forget to take this with you, boss. That way you can't say I never did you any favors. Whoever took down Coulter would take his place. You believe that? I didn't vote for this broad. How come she gets to be overboss? I mean, hell, if I had known they were looking for somebody, I would have thrown my name into that hat. You know what I'm saying? Well, whatever. I can't wait to see what our new leader has planned. At least, can't be any worse than Coulter, right? Right? Hey, asshole, you're listening to Raider Radio.